A witness who, like most experiencers, have had many other encounters and recalls this consciously. He was staying at a private school on his way to the lunchroom one night. He saw a craft above the school, about 3,000 to 10,000 feet. The craft flashed multiple colored lights. Later that night, in a dreamlike state, he found himself in the dormitory and everyone in the room was out cold. He tried to wake them, but they were totally asleep. In a panic, he ran to the corridor. He then looked to the left and saw a bright yellow light coming from the end of the dormitory. He also noticed a type of mist covering the floor. He saw a fellow student that appeared to be standing perfectly straight, looking forward as though he were sleepwalking. Terrified, the witness screamed and then saw two beings appear at the end of the corridor. They both glided towards him slowly. His heart was pounding as they got closer. He described the beings to be about six feet tall, black skinned, or wearing tight fitting black suits. Here is another encounter. I was standing in the doorway of this room and I looked out into the hallway and saw another guy who was completely naked being led by another tall black alien. She was yelling at him. She stopped him in the hallway and he was like awake and seemed alert, but he didn't realize what or who he was with or where he was. It was like he was there, but not there. Conscious, but not fully. Even though he could walk, he didn't know he was with an alien. She was extremely demeaning to him. I could hear what she was saying to him as she led him down the hallway, and I couldn't believe my ears. It was as if she were telepathically demeaning him for being a male. I can't even repeat what she said. It was so degrading. This chap had a look on his face like, what the F did I do wrong? He laughed a little in a nervous and cautious manner, but he was unaware that he was standing right next to such an alien looking creature. He was aware enough to function and walk, but that was about it. 